Wow. <laughs> okay. Welcome, welcome, Aiman and everybody. What's good, everyone? So nice this is here. welcome back to hang out with Wakas, and this time it's Wakas and Aiman and. Thank you so much. Glad to be here, man. Thank mm, you. Cool, cool. So, all right. Before we start, man. Before we start everything, where that the Aiman and name came from? Oh my. Okay. Uh, not so much long ago, we had someone here. His name was Ayman. So I joined me and him. These two Aymans, we joined Fly 2018. Mm-hmm. So it would be ridiculous for us uh, in the studio uh, if we put Ayman as this class or that class, because practically he does ride and boxing, and I do boxing as well. Mm-hmm. But and then it's not the first time as well. Our bosses and our colleague we say Ayman and both of our heads were turned. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we even resorted because Ayman that time he was blonde, so someone we call him blonde Ayman, and I'm just Ayman. So in the end, we are going to take our initial. My initial is actually Nabil Ayman. Okay. And then he named himself Ayman Ox. Um, not sure from where that one. You have to ask the man himself. <laughs> So that's how the nickname came by, Ayman N. I kind of like it. So I started to use that in my, uh, everywhere that I can use, I use. I u- even use that for my IGN as well. Mm-hmm. Sounds catchy to me. So that's how Ayman N came from. Nice. We had two Aymans here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just funny, like, when you had, like, two s- with the same name, right? And then, you know, people get confused, you guys get confused. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We we had three actually now too. Right? We have yeah. three, three, but uh, one just went back to the UK. Oh, yes. So we left with two. Yes. But we do have. Oh no, just one. Sorry, one common. <laughs> one common. <laughs> well, common soon. You're gonna have two or three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <soon>. we <laughs> we were um, almost had two crystals, almost. Mm-hmm. But I think MCO hits, <laughs> so that one had to pause first. Uh, it'll come. It'll come. Okay, that will be will come. really interesting. <laughs> what are we going to name these two crystals? Oh my god, it's <laughs> going to be two confusing things, man. Yeah, but that's yeah. a good thing. That means that we are prospering. We are expanding. <laughs> we are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but luckily that, well, uh, I'm the only Iman left. Yeah. But Iman N, it's here to stay. So are you, are you, do you prefer like now that you're the only Iman left, do you prefer to be called as Iman? Or do you still, you know what? I'm gonna keep Ayman N till the day I die. Okay, call it nostalgic. Uh, since that, that's the nickname that my colleague gave to me mm-hmm. and our bosses as well. And it feels endearing for me. So yes, I'm just gonna keep it. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, maybe one day if I decide to, you know, hang my gloves and I'm not gonna teach in fly anymore, I'm still gonna use that Ayman N. Yeah, so I guess people just know you already, right? Yeah, it's, it's Ayman N. Exactly, it's like maybe like wrestling, you know, when you know someone like, <laughs> like The Rock. I mean, even if he requested, you know, you know, stop, stop calling me The Rock, yep. he's still going to call him The Rock. So mm-hmm. I guess it's the same thing. True, yeah. true. Now, now that you mentioned The Rock, yeah, I know you're a huge wrestling fan like me, man. Man, uh, yes, no. huge. Yeah. Do you remember the first memory of you watching wrestling? Yes, I do. My first ever wrestler was Chris Jericho. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> the Lionheart. Nice. nice. Yes. And at that time, to me, mm-hmm. he was the best person on the mic. Still is. Still is. Still is. No doubt. And his wrestling skill, I'm pretty sure that he's, I would say he's on the top tier. Mm-hmm. And after Chris Jericho came a person that I find really funny, Mankind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, di- I, I didn't understand what he was because mm-hmm. I was really young at that time. Yep. Then what really caught me into wrestling and watching wrestling and started to wrestle with my brothers as well <laughs> Okay. is <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Everyone loves Stone Cold Steve Austin now. True. Right? So rebellious. I'm pretty sure that because we are kids, right? I'm, I'm yep. pretty sure you understand what goes on. Yeah. We are a kid. We we don't we don't want to listen to our parents mm-hmm. and whatever the teachers say. A we want to say B. Yeah. So Stone Cold is a victim of that. Stone Cold is like you know middle finger to you. you know? Yes. Yes. You know, F you. I'm not going to do this. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> so you you you, I mean like the first wrestling you watch is probably in the Attitude Era. Yes. Correct. Really. Yeah. 
because I grew up watching the golden era, Ooh. the Hulk Hogan era. Because how do I get into wrestling is because my dad is a huge fan. Uh-huh. Still today, he's a huge fan of Hulk Hogan. Great, great to know that. Yep. Yes. Um, and then I think, yeah, it was Hulk Hogan era. And then in the beginning of the uh, Attitude New Blood era, where the Bret Hart, Bret Hart, Owen Hart, all those, you know, uh, uh, Shawn Michael just changed into a heart rate kid from the Rockers. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, so I grew up on that era. I watched all that. I mean, like, dude, it's a five-year-old kid watching wrestling. It's actually not good. But my dad is like, go ahead, I'll watch. Because I remember that those days, you actually have to rent a videotape, the VHS, to watch wrestling. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not there yet. My CDs. Yeah, your CDs. CDs yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I, I lived on that era before. So that means, like, if, like, f- for example, a main event, right? Like, SummerSlam. SummerSlam 90, 95 or 96. If, I w- if we want to watch that, we have to watch it like a month later. That's when the tape is in the... <laughs> you know Speedy, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Speedy oh. and uh, there's some other like tape rental services. Lah. Right. So we had to rent the tape and watch it together as a family. True. Nobody watched wrestling as a family. <laughs> I mean, at least the people that I know... Lah. <laughs> but yeah, our whole family watches wrestling. Very good. <laughs> wow. Uh, up until today. That's great. Yeah, so but the only person that actually keep up to wrestling until today is just me. But that's okay. Mm. Maybe you could use wrestling as your family business, workers. Hopefully. Maybe three, four, five years, you never know. Malaysia never is rising. Know. Yeah. You know that? yeah. And because of my dad is a huge fan of wrestling. So basically back then, he used to own this publication company. Uh-huh. That he runs by himself. Okay. So, w- uh, he published like a uh, sports magazine like football. Oh. So, the Liga Malaysia football. Right, right. Yes. That was like in the 80s and the 90s. That was a golden era as well. Yeah. For us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, basically, m- my family used to travel with my dad. Just to, you know, teman him to go and watch football and shoot some photos and all that. Awesome, you're lucky. Yes. <laughs> you're very lucky. And then, <laughs> and then in the early 2000s, he closed down Liga M. Mm-hmm. It was Liga Malaysia or Liga M something. Oh, that Liga that magazine. M. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Right? He oh, closed yes, down yes. that and then he opened, he started a wrestling magazine business. And the wrestling magazine business called Hulkamania because he, re- he just really loves Hulk Hogan. Yes. Yeah. So, so basically... Amazing. At that point of time, we don't have internet, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. We still use uh, the dial-ups, all those, nah, 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 all that is too <laughs> slow. Yeah. Yeah. So he bought all wrestling magazines. He took the stories from that. He translated it to Malay, sell it to people. Oh my God. Do you have a copy of that? I can't remember. Maybe I have. Maybe my dad still have. Maybe if I could find it, I can just pass it to you. <laughs> but it's, have- it's, it's really funny though. I can't, I can't really like... I can't really brain that my dad can make like a, a wrestling magazine. I can brain you <laughs> making the same thing yeah. as how wrestling's turned out right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, well, you're talking about Hulk Hogan. Mm-hmm. Now you're talking about, you're talking, uh, you watch when wrestling was the golden era. Yeah. So let me ask you a question right here. Mm-hmm. Do you agree that wrestling changed after the Montreal school job? Totally, bro. Yes. Totally. You see, before the Montreal screw job, wrestling is, I would say, fake. Okay. Because the way, I mean, like, how can a leg drop end you? <laughs> because it's pretty. Oh God, it's so Seriously. Hulk Hogan. Until leg today, drop. I cannot brain that. <laughs> like, dude, it's just a leg drop. Now everyone's doing leg drop and they can kick out at zero, not even one. Because they're not Hulk Hogan. That's why. <laughs> I still believe that's that he's why. Yeah, that's true. That's why. So when, after the Montreal screw job, that's when we see all those attitude eras start to boom. And that's when the Monday Night Wars is like really crazy. Um, I was never a WCW fan. Okay. Never a WCW fan. But because to me, WCW looks kind of like an uh, old federation <laughs> wrestling. I mean, more I into agree. a WWF fan at that point of time. Yes. Until I met ECW. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I became an ECW fan because of all those hardcore wrestling stuff. <laughs> I guess because yeah. ECW did take some inspiration from uh, WCW mm, yep, yep. and WWE as well. Yep. And it became the WCW. 
it's just a shame that for its demise, mm. I would say that it's just full of mismanagement. True. Uh, mismanagement. That is true. Mismanagement. Because you know, like Paul Heyman came from WCW actually. Correct. Yeah, and uh, then I th- I, if I'm not mistaken, he had an issue with Eric Bischoff at that point of time. He always had issue with that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he had an issue, and then he left, and then that's when he started Eastern Championship Wrestling. That was ECW back then, before <laughs> it became Extreme Championship mm. Wrestling. So, yeah, man, yeah. that was like really old, man. I mean, if. To those wrestling fans who's watching right now, and they're still kids, and they're gonna be like, "Dude, these two old guys are talking about wrestling I've never watched." Yes, <laughs> but it's okay, kids. Wrestling now is going to go to that direction. Yeah, yes. yeah. Just give it around one to two years. I really want to see the Monday Night Wars version two, man. Seriously, now that AEW is in the business, correct, and all those ex WWE is in AEW, almost all of them. I would say it's WWE 2.0. <laughs> it's actually like, yeah, yeah, it's kind of like a, a reunion of everyone there. <laughs> it's just that they need to put some people. Yeah. Now, Wakas, let me tell you. Okay, now we know the, the roster. Mm. Now, who do you want to see in AEW right now from WWE? AJ Styles. AJ, yes. I would want to see AJ Styles and... Honestly speaking, even uh, who's that bro guy? Uh, <laughs> I totally <laughs> forgot his name. The RK bro, uh, <laughs> that long haired. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah, the name is not even in my mind now. Yeah, <laughs> that shows you that I. You know, I'll be honest with you, Wakas. I've been catching the highlights of WWE, mm. but AEW. I'm going to sub that. I am going to. Yeah, man, dude. I just can't. Because the, the Instagram page and then you watch the um, uh, you watch the highlights of yep, AEW yep. as well. Um, it, I can't help but to feel that with the stage and with the capacity of the crowd, mm-hmm. it is, and it is reminding me of Attitude Era. People it are is. starting to break the PG, the so-called PG yep, era. Yep. Yeah. People don't want to act good, you know, do clean yep. and then be pretty. No, people want something edgy you know? correct something that st- strike into your heart yeah and that is what aw is all about right now yeah i mean at least for now la. because wwe used to be that mm-hmm. until they work with some big corporations that you can't swear you can't do bloods you can't have a really gory match because pg era <laughs> has started you d- there was one time i watched i think it was nxt ah, samoa yes. joe's Wrestling someone uh, It's either Semi uh, Semi Zayn or someone I can't Semi remember Zane. Okay Okay And Samoa Joe busted his head open Okay correct The referee had to stop the match <laughs> <laughs> And they called the medic To come And stop the blood And everyone is like Booing And I was like Dude what the hell I thought NXT is gonna be the next ECW Or the one that's gonna fight AEW You know On On this Gory match and whatnot, right? Yeah, I'm gonna be raw here, Wakas. I will <laughs> see NXT as okay. You know farm, right? You have a farm. Yeah. Yeah, cows, right? Yeah. So what do you do with a cow? You feed them, mm-hmm. and then they become fat. Mm-hmm. So NXT is going to fat turn <laughs> all these talents, <laughs> and then what do you do with the fat cows? You milk them, or you kill them for meat. So that's what WWE is for. The yeah. kill house. <laughs> they, ki- <laughs> they literally kill everyone from NXT. <laughs> right? Yes. I mean, look at Ricochet. Oh. Ricochet had like a five-star match with Adam Cole on NXT. Mm-hmm. He went to Raw. They killed him. Yes. Samoa okay. Joe like, had the biggest pop in NXT. He went to Raw. They killed him. Now he's in NXT again. <laughs> and I just... He just won the NXT championship, right? Yeah, correct. And I read yeah. yesterday, he suffered an injury. I don't know if that's real or they just don't want Joe to be the champion anymore because yep. he had to forfeit that championship mm-hmm. which to me sucks lah. because uh, yeah, I have to admit uh, Joe has been holding that title mm. uh, of course mm. NXT has that what, packing orders yep, someone true. has to hold it yep. so it can't be Joe all the time and the act of him going to WWE as you said and mm. he comes back to NXT you know it's, it's, it's very sayang lah. I mean like those Talents are like a very, very good talents. 
I watch TNA Impact because of Samoa Joe ah, and yes. AJ Styles because I know at that point of time there was no AEW but at that point of time TNA wrestling is kind of like the reunion of WWE okay whoever that failed drug test and everything goes to <laughs> TNA like Jeff Hardy yes <laughs> <laughs> that guy yep Jeff Hardy and then yeah I I discovered like Alex Young mm uh Samoa Joe AJ Styles Chris Sabin Yes, all oh, those okay. names. Yeah. That is now doing. more. I think they are now in independent circuit. Most of them yeah. are in independent circuit. So I discovered that through um, TNA, and then when, for some reason, I know TNA went down. Also, mm, I would say mismanagement. I heard because yeah. of Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yes, there you go. Hulk is not a good wrestler. Good management, lah, basically. <laughs> I just read something about Hulk Hogan two days ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, the reason why Hulk, okay, Hulk Hogan is a star, there's no doubt. Public loves him. Yep. As your father, and I'm pretty sure you admire him. I admire him. And uh, not really, uh, I don't admire him. At all. <laughs> <laughs> I think that he is the, he is the John Cena of that time. Yep. Correct. Correct. But unlike John Cena, which is loved by the public and the locker room. Yep. Hulk Hogan wasn't very well liked. By the locker room simply because he has this relationship with Vince McMahon. Yes. And then, just basically think of it that he has that get out of jail free card where he does something wrong, he does something you know. True. Oh, true, it's okay. True. It's Hulk Hogan. Just let him be. He's the star. Yep, yep, yep. So you have this person. You bring him anywhere. Doesn't matter anywhere. You mm. bring him to TNA, AW. Mm. God forbid. Please don't go there. Please don't bring Hulk there. Don't, <laughs> don't bring. I don't think so. Tony Khan, please don't buy him. I I think even most more than half of them dislike Hulk Hogan. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Hulk has that kind of. I think of course he has that ego, and then generally I don't think he mixes well with the other people, especially all the youngsters in AEW. Yep. Should yep. he go to AEW? Uh, that is why Hulk Hogan. Is I think even the youngsters in WWE also, mm-hmm. most of them hate him. Mm-hmm. I mean, like uh, I remember Brock Lesnar called him Grandpa once. <laughs> I agree with him. I agree with there him. Was, part time. Yeah, <laughs> there, there was one time in the ring, like I think it was in Raw or something. They were celebrating something, blah blah blah, and then Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar came, mm-hmm. and <laughs> Brock Lesnar just went off script, like party's over, Grandpa, mm-hmm. and everyone is like, yes, <laughs> you know? and I feel like, oh yeah, yeah. I, I think I, that's I, a legit I, response to it. You don't need to act that out. <laughs> true, <laughs> and you could see like Hogan's face, like, did he just went off script or something? <laughs> But yeah, uh, you know, I, I always sometimes I imagine like what could have happened to NWO without Hotster. To be honest with you, I think NWO is like the DX of WWE. Correct. At one point, mm-hmm. okay. like because of uh, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, yeah. they are the outsiders. They are, they made their own rules and whatnot. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. At that point of time, to me, the outsiders was really cool. Yeah. Right until Hulk joins. It feels like uh, it's, it, this is like an old guys uh, group. Yeah, true. Because in WWE, DX was actually quite young mm-hmm. with Shawn Michaels and Triple H and China. Yeah, at that time. Yeah. And then slowly Road Dog came in and X Pac came in and uh, Billy Gunn joined. Yeah. So those are like kind of young people, and then Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, and Hulk Hogan is like. And then suddenly, like Macho Man joins in WWE, like, <laughs> huh? For what? You're right. All folks who. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with Wolfpack. Ah yes. Okay. To me, Wolfpack is actually kind of cool. To me lah. Because I would say that. Okay, let's just put it this way. Perhaps Wolfpack has direction. Mm. Now, when you put Hulk Hogan in a group, now you use. You pick NWO just now. Mm. I can't help but to feel when Hogan went inside that group, it became HWO. Hogan, Hogan World. World. <laughs> True. <laughs> yes. True. So that's why the appeal remains losers. No. Mm. Well, if you talk about old people, stable, huh? Mm. Let me think about one stable that is four horsemen. Group. There you go. So <laughs> why are they cool? Why is NWA after Hogan that is yep, yep. not cool? There you go. It's Hogan. Nobody wants Hogan. Exactly. But Nobody people, wants. public, I would say, public still love Hogan. Yeah. Why? Superhero Lou. Uh. He has his own cartoon. John Cena doesn't have his cartoon yet. 
True. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Man, that sucks. You watch all this veneer of Hulk Hogan working out in the 80s. If you yeah. can catch it in YouTube, like, yeah. it's like all this, like having all this huge fake weights. <laughs> fake weights. <laughs> Making the. Oh, you do this everything say your prayers eat your vitamins everything will be fine he is your the all icon American. pro yeah gold gyms and all yes. that stuff he's that guy that, he's that all American guy that you you want to be mm. that is why he was he was popular mm. with the public and yeah. then he joined back WWE right after I think it was No Way Out 2001 2001 correct right yeah. that's when NWO came back mm-hmm. and then he had a match with The Rock on WrestleMania yes that was how and what do you think about the match uh it was I'm okay yeah, I'm just <laughs> I'm not really feeling it though no yeah I know that that uh, at that time when I rewatch it again because 2001 I was 9 mm-hmm. so I couldn't really understand what's happening okay and then I rewatch it again like recent years I noticed that everyone boos The Rock, which I feel like actually you guys should boo Hogan because it's Hogan. Yeah, <laughs> it's his. So to mm. me, that match is just okay. It's just like a passing a torch match, mm. like you know, it's The Rock's time. But then again, not long after that, The Rock left. Yeah, but <laughs> he became a Hollywood star. Hollywood star, which is way better. Look at him right now. Yeah, yeah. he looks better now. Yeah, way better now. Uh. And do you remember the match in SummerSlam? I think uh, Hulk Hogan against Shawn Michaels. Yes. Where Shawn Michaels sells the hell of whatever Hogan does. He made. He, he made, made a skit with Larry King. Yes. I still remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. That he one. Came yeah. with that, that, with that crutches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he was mimicking Hogan. Yeah. Like all the. And then during that match, even Hogan throws a, like a light punch. He <laughs> like he sells it until. He falls down. He falls out the ring and one on, you know. <laughs> and yeah. Okay, that one is funny, because I heard. Uh, I can't remember who won that match. Is it was it Sean or was Michael's. it? It was Mike. It was. It was, it was Michael's, I think. Yeah. I, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I read somewhere there's a heat going on at the back Which? that mm-hmm. Hogan doesn't want to lose to Sean Michaels. Of course. Yep. Of course. Because he feels that that makes him looks bad. Of course, but at that point of time, Hogan is old, <laughs> right? And, and he just looked big. I think it's because of all those uh, supplements that yeah, he took, vitamins, the <laughs> vitamins that he took. <laughs> yes, but yeah, that match was to me it was funny. I I can't I can't stop laughing watching that match because how Sean sells his punches and whatnot. Because yeah, it's it's very obvious that Sean. But I have a feeling that Sean himself mm. is not happy working with Hogan. Yeah. Let's take back to Montreal Screw Job. Mm. You're talking about a guy here, Sean, mm. who at that time mm. wasn't a nice person as well. Yep. It's all about ego. It's all hated by the hated by the local room, but seemingly loved by the public. Yeah. But so hated he, by the Canadians. Ah, uh, yeah, hated by the Canadians, especially <laughs> Canadian, don't put him up there. The Canadians yeah. hated him so bad. Yeah, he did that. That was that was re- up until now. That was the biggest scandal. Nobody yeah. can beat that. So you pick Michaels and you pick Hogan. These two are similar. So you put them in a match. So what can you expect? True. There you go. True. But in the end, like you said, of course they can't award that win to Hogan. Yeah. He was bloated. He didn't perform well in that match. But no, no, no. Uh, that's why Michael had to do more extra. Yeah. Uh, and Michaels at that time was a born again Christian. He was of, obviously he was nicer, but he just playing a, he was playing a character. Yeah. But everyone was rooting for him. I was rooting for him. For Sean. <laughs> yeah, for Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. True. So of course he had to win. If he lo- if he lose, then I suppose at that time, uh, more people, the heat would be harder. Mm. More people from the locker room would say, hey, "Why Hogan's winning this again?" Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. True. Right. True. Uh, it takes us back to today's WWE bookings, <laughs> which kind of look like that actually. True. So, did you know that just now, this morning, Big E won the WWE title? Yes. Oh I my god, I was happy. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, even if Randy Orton wins, I'm okay. True. Because to me, he still looks fit. Mm-hmm. I, he's like what forty something now. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's my goodness. He's old. I still remember he's him old guy. back then. He was in Evolution, right? He's that guy, he was, legend killer. <laughs> he's the twenty. F- he's twenty-five at that point of time, yeah. and he was the 
youngest world champion when he beat uh, I can't remember if he beat who lah, but he won that title. Wait, he beat Chris Benoit. <laughs> Chris Benoit, right? Then uh, the okay. evolution re- betrayed him. Mm. Oh, that night, my goodness, that was really epic. Yeah, man, See, he's old. <laughs> he's old. Yeah, I was like, that's why. Now I, I wonder, like, dude, I'm old now. <laughs> we I'm are almost. We- 30, I'm 30 next year, man. Wow. We both are. That's why we can do this podcast. We yeah. can talk forever, Wakas. Don't feel <laughs> bad about it. There's something that we can talk about and teach these kids. <laughs> correct, correct. Yeah. Do you, were you, do you went to the first Smackdown in Malaysia? Yes, I was. I was It there. was 2002. It was 2002. 2002, 2001. 2002. 2002 I was yeah. in Kuantan at that time, so uh-huh. I made a trip here in KL. Nice. I, I was there. there. I was, so it's 2002, I was 10. Yeah, I I was heavily a Hardy Boys fan at that point of time. Oh yes. Yep. Um, specifically Jeff Hardy because to me Jeff Hardy likes really cool. Mm-hmm. He's kind of cool now lah, but he's old. <laughs> he's getting slower and slower. He's getting battered by the. I'm sorry to say. Thanks drugs. for the yeah, thanks for the drugs. Yeah. yeah I was getting battered too. <laughs> so I remember that they. I mean, I don't remember all the matches. I remember the Hardy Boys was facing. If I'm not mistaken can't remember who. Was it was it Billy and Chuck, I think? Billy, oh. <laughs> if I'm <laughs> that, not mistaken. That's a, that's, I have to say that that was an awkward pairing. I, I admire Billy Gunn. When, <laughs> when he say, joined Billy and it. Chuck and then there's Rico. Rico. And, and they like, were speaking in that tone. Yeah. I mean, I know they're going for the LGBT scene, but come on, it's Billy Gunn. It's, it's Billy, Billy Gunn, freaking guys. Gunn. It's, it's Billy. It's former the mis- DX. It's Mr. Ass. Everyone knows him. Yeah, but and he, you made him like that. I know he. Yeah, his name, his moniker was Mr. Ass. Yeah. But you don't have to make him look gay. Gay. <laughs> oh, yes, there you go. There you say it. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no hate to the gay people, man. It's just that that couple, that pair, tag team pair, is really oh, weird to me, lah. It's like you're asking Something Tom Cruise wrong. to play gay. Kind of. No, no, you can't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I remember that because okay, so the, this our sitting is actually quite close to the ring. It's not ringside, but okay. it's quite close. We can actually see the the real size of the ring. Right. I was ten. Obviously, I was small and short. Right. Yeah. So I heard the Hardy Boys um, theme song. I was I'm going crazy, man. Like, yes. Right. And then when I stood up. Everyone else stood up. Then I can see a thing. I couldn't <laughs> see a thing. Like, oh what just happened? You should have just asked your dad to just. Uh, uh, I was up. fat. Uh, oh. <laughs> I was really. I'm, I'm like literally fat, fat kid. So oh. I I believe my dad couldn't lift me up. So, and everyone was standing up, the whole match, and then, all I remember is that the match ended, the Hardy Boys lost. Everyone seated down. I'm like, oh, what the hell happened? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened, guys? <laughs> yeah, but the main event of the match, uh, main event of the night, uh, that night was Chris Jericho against The Rock. Against The Rock. Yeah. yeah. And then they had like uh, some, you know, interaction between Chris Jericho and The Rock on mic, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. they always kill on the mic. Like these two is mm-hmm. like one of the best wrestlers on mic, mm-hmm. I'd say. Even Jericho until today, man. Yeah. I still believe so. Yes. Yeah. And he's actually good on commentary also. <laughs> yeah. Right. He, he should be. Uh, I, I was sure, I'm sure that once he, you know. Hang his boots. Has his boots for yeah. good for or good, yeah. injury. Maybe mm. whichever comes first. Then he'll, he'll be sitting at a desk. Yeah. Because he's like 51, I think, you know. Yeah. When I first saw him, <laughs> he was over. He was what? Late 20s? Early 30s at the time? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. He was that age already, so I can imagine it now. He's going to that golden year as well. Yeah, you know, and he looks a little bit bloated. I mean, a lot bloated than he was before. <laughs> that shows you this wrestlers, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, they do take some kind of PED. Of course. Steroids, uh, I mean, they take bumps every night, so they had to take like painkillers and whatnot. Yeah. All those other pills also. Yeah. Wow. And some of that pills actually kills them, like how it did to Eddie Guerrero. Yeah. Oh, it's so man. sad, man. It's so sad. When I heard the news that Eddie died, I'm like, what? Man, that's just really sad. Because he's like, at that point of time, he's the face of the company, kind of the face of the company. Yeah. And he's on, uh, he's not a heel. And he's very entertaining because of his lies, cheats, and still persona. Yeah. Damn. So sad, right? Yeah, all because 
Yeah, but, he, but he claimed that he stopped taking all that when he was in WWE. No, sorry. Let me rephrase that. He stopped taking that after he cut his hair in WWE. So remember that he had that long hair before? Yeah. yeah. He, he was had, splendid at the time. So he, he had was, a mullet. He was a mullet. Still hot though, but he had that attitude. <laughs> Still hot. But I remember that he said in one of the interviews that he had, mm. after he cut his hair, he cut the steroids and he never take it. Because at that time, WWE implemented the wellness policy program. Mm, that's what they say. Uh, it's questionable still. <laughs> it's, it's like boxing testing as well. They yeah, test steroids yeah, in boxes. Yeah. We all know bo- some professional boxers do take steroids as well. So that happened. Unfortunately, you know steroids workers. Uh, FYI, if you take steroids, mm. you won't feel it right now. Mm. Later on. Unfortunately, that's what happened to him. Mm. It came haunted him back. It's such a shame. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I think today is still there are wrestlers taking steroids. Yeah, they're, they're just you know, if you don't get caught, you don't get caught. Yeah, I yeah. suppose it's like it's yeah, kind of because I I don't know if The Rock takes steroids because he looks like way bigger than he is when he was in WWE. <laughs> True. Maybe now. Well, now he's in acting. Yeah. I mean, nobody's there to tell him, hey, you cannot take this. Yeah. It's for movie room. So. Well, if you're offered millions of dollars, what yeah, does? Yeah, and yeah, they say, yeah. all you have to do is just <laughs> plop you one, <laughs> one sword, I think. But he look, I think like he looks like he's the same size of Brock Lesnar. <laughs> maybe just, bigger? He's just maybe, yeah, maybe yeah. bigger than Brock Lesnar. I mean, look at him. Yeah. Oh my God. It's scary. I still think that he is, well, not only the, he is the best wrestler in terms of uh, putting the crowd, mm. uh, being I mean, just overall c- a charismatic yeah. guy. Yeah, even he's a heel, he's a face. You know what I mean? No, people boo him. <laughs> people love him. Even he, he's a heel. Yeah. At that point of time, when he came back from Hollywood, and then against Hurricane. Yeah, <laughs> that match uh, was funny. <laughs> match was funny. <laughs> and but yeah, people never boo him. Why would we boo him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I even like I can't remember it was. 20 what but that was a Royal Rumble match where Roman Reigns were the last participant with Kane and Big Show oh. so I fig- I think that WWE wanted to push Roman Reigns as the face of the company but people don't like Roman Reigns at that point of time no yeah no. and then they bring The Rock in <laughs> <laughs> kind of like helping Roman Reigns win the Royal Rumble yeah and to me it's just like dude if People don't like that means people don't like it, yeah. But now people love Roman Reigns because of, of his heel persona. I feel like now it, he looks way better now mm-hmm. as a wrestler also, and his persona. He's the he's the the what did he call the the the, the head of the table. It should that be. persona is like yeah. Now I can see like that you're long dominating. Long time ago, it should be that way. It should it's, be that way, right? I think WWE is trying to package him too much to be like Cena. That's the yeah, problem. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean to be honest, when the Shield broke off, mm-hmm. when they broke off the Shield, it should be that already. Yes, right. right. Because Seth Rollins is going with the authorities, uh-huh. and then Dean Ambrose was like that. Uh, he, was, crazy. <laughs> he was he was kind of like the Stone Cold lie thing. Yeah. That was WWE. What what WWE trying to do to him, mm-hmm. but it doesn't work. Yeah, it's just no. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. just no. I mean, until today, I'm not really a fan of Dean Ambrose or John Moxley. Uh huh. Until today, I'm not really a fan of him. I mean, like, to me, his 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 move set also to me is just okay. Yeah, but he's just that that guy who will just you know lose his mind just like that. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah, that, yeah. That's him. Even in in chill before he was portrayed that guy. Yeah. So I do understand. But AEW, well, to his credit, he gets more leniency. That's why he left WWE in the first place. Yeah. He doesn't have that box to play with, and now he has it. Mm. Well, we'll see what happens. Now he can yeah. ring in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> he can smoke in front of the camera now. Yeah. He's yeah. like okay. He he looks kind of like Sandman when Sandman was in ECW. Correct. A yes, little correct. bit. A little bit because uh, Sandman is, I think, crazier than that mm-hmm. because he bangs himself with a uh, beer cans until he bleeds. I don't know why he does that. Because <laughs> it's just a wild <laughs> child. So I yeah, suppose yeah, that's yeah. what Dean Ambrose, John Moxley is yep. trying to, you know, to go for. Mm. Yeah. Man, look at us talking about wrestling. Yeah, <laughs> how, how long can we talk? And I'm sure you, we can talk this day and night, day and night. True, true. <laughs> okay, so basically, you went to boxing. You joined boxing, right? Yes, I do. Um, I 
I believe you joined boxing because that's the closest one to wrestling. <laughs> yeah, funny story that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this is what really happened. So I was I was in Kuching that time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was born in Kuching. I was born in Kuching. So I went to school there, primary school. So I'm a hu- I'm a huge fan of gaming. I love gaming so much. And currently, I'm still I'm working. We'll in get to that. We'll get to yeah, that. Yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> Uh, funny how life turns out. So I play a lot of video games. Uh, my first console was Sega Saturn. Oh, cool, yeah, cool. Sega Saturn. And then I got my first PC. My dad bought me my first PC when I was six years old. Nice. So I was that guy before, you know, that guy who's a small guy wearing specs and just mm-hmm. playing game. I was like that. So I was. It went on until nine years old, eight, nine years old. So. It's just too much. I I go to cyber cafes as well, mm. and to make things worse, mm. uh, my mom doesn't really uh, didn't approve of this. My dad will bring me to cyber cafe, so I didn't have wow. to run. So all my friends were <laughs> right there. Hey, I, let's let's jump the fence. Yeah, don't park yeah, right? yeah, Just yeah, go to yeah, cyber yeah, cafe. Yeah. No, I did. No, I don't. Okay, let's go. No problem. My dad knows it. <laughs> <laughs> you have a cool dad. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I have immunity. <laughs> The teacher wants to scold me. School, it's okay, no problem. Again, okay. <laughs> I will take it. <laughs> But it was becoming a pandemic, so I was, uh, I was really, uh, I was studies. I was average, mm-hmm. but I was that guy, you know, just confided in his own space playing games. Okay. So my parents figured that okay, this is not, this is not going to work for him mm-hmm. in the future. We have to send him to sports. So at that time, my 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 dad, my dad, loves golf mm-hmm. and boxing. Okay. So he enrolled me in these two, and then I dislike. Boxing, I dislike golf. In fact, I didn't like any sports at all. I, I watch, yeah, I watch uh, Malaysia League, okay. watch football, but I don't want to play it. If if you understand what I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I just don't want. Uh, I don't want to sweat. The idea of sweating is just nauseating for me. Okay. Then yeah, let's just say this is an attitude adjustment. We bring you to boxing. We bring you to golf because we need your attitude to change. And I still remember that it was an oversized glove. Oh my goodness, this glove can even fit. I'm, I can even put my head into that boxing glove. You, you were know? what, uh, nine, yeah, eight, yeah. nine years old at that point in time. And I was the shortest guy in the class. Uh, <laughs> in all my schooling years, uh-huh. up until college, uh-huh. I was the smallest, one of the shortest guy. Okay. <laughs> wow. So okay, you can imagine this little guy in boxing, you know, so small, get pushed around. Yeah. Even in golf, I can't even lift that thing up. <laughs> It's more like that <laughs> But the rest is history I suppose I mm. suppose that It gets addictive mm. You know The idea of getting better So I, I found myself Going to boxing uh, Daily After school Going to golf Every weekend Okay And here I am But yes You're right about something Wakas It is the closest thing That I can get to wrestling Now I can't I caught wrestling My first wrestling Match that I watched Was WWE WWF Fully Loaded 1998 Man that was like Wow Wow Fully wow. Loaded I still remember The first match of that wow. CD Was Jeff Jarrett Was, was Val Venus And oh I see this God. guy Coming out <laughs> Shaking his hip like, Whoa I like wrestling So that image Was imprinted in my mind mm, yeah. But at that time In Kuching mm. And Cebu also I moved to Cebu We had no wrestling Of course like, we, had no, we just watched wrestling On TV yeah. But then again The boxing ring Looks like the wrestling ring I said okay You know what I'll just go for it Like This is the closest thing But unlike wrestling I get punched for real True That is true Yeah <laughs> You didn't get chair shots and but but you did get punched for real. You <laughs> punched for real. So this is why my okay my dad was uh, was clever. He said okay fine it, it's not the same. Mm. But think about it. You can go to you can go boxing. You can walk into the walk. You can walk into the ring. You can still have this personality. Yeah. So okay the first boxer that I watched and immediately I love him was uh, Prince Nassim. Prince Nassim this uh, pr- this guy he's all about. Showman. When he mm, comes, mm, mm. he came into the boxing ring on a car- on a magic carpet. Imagine that. So it's like wow. On the magic carpet. Yeah, on the magic carpet. But the magic carpet is being hung by strings, lah. So it's kind of like wrestling, lah, basically. Yes, he came <laughs> like that with all this costume and all this, and then he was dancing in the ring, okay. humiliating people around. I was like, wow, boxing so can like this. Okay, then I'll do boxing. That's why I well. And I said, okay, I do boxing. I mm. want to be like Prince Nancy. I want to yeah. be like these people who dancing, having this personality. Because I, I don't like, generally, I'm going to tell you now, Wakas, I don't like being aggressive. 
Yes, there are some boxers out there. You know, they just like look like that. Yeah. They look like brutish, yeah. and they just want to beat the crap out of you. Well, I want to beat the crap out of you, <laughs> but I want to look good. True. While doing it. Yeah. So well, like I said, the rest is history, and then I went to several matches, mm. and then here I am. But yes, that I guess that boxing and wrestling passion now mixed up. Mm-hmm. Now Malaysia is getting exposed to wrestling, and you know that yeah. we have promotion here locally as well. Yeah, we do. And I'm not getting any younger, as what you said <laughs> earlier today. So I'm after I'm gonna hang out my gloves. I am going to throw myself into this wrestling industry. Well, of course not being a wrestler, but I would like to be someone who's responsible behind the scene. Let's mm. do that, workers. It's like a producer, lah. Yeah. Basically, right? Why don't yeah. we do that? Let's do that. I'll we do that. To. I'll yeah. do that. I mean, I almost became one of the photographers for that for that promotion. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Yep. Let's make it yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's yeah. turn that into a yes. Because <laughs> when I first saw the uh, the promotion, I watch it. It it looks kind of funny uh-huh. because out of all their wrestlers, the Malaysian wrestlers, uh-huh. only like two or three that is actually built. Ah. Yeah. The rest are is either skinny okay. or fat. Oh. <laughs> There's no in between. I mean, like you know, like how wrestlers in in the US, oh, yeah. they have like a really built one, mm-hmm. and then a moderate one that looks like CM Punk. Okay. Right, and then the skinny ones that looks like uh, Orange Cassidy. Okay. Right. <laughs> But to to their <laughs> okay to their credit as well, you mentioned about Cassidy and CM Punk. Mm-hmm. They do look like wrestler. Yeah, but um, they do look like wrestlers. Look okay. Like wrestler, yes. So the wrestlers in Malaysia, I mean, no hate because I. I have and admi- I admire them because they they can do that, okay. right? But it's either you are built, and then it's either you're too skinny or you're just too fat. <laughs> <laughs> and the f- the fat one is just like uh, a smaller version of Visra. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, even Vis- <laughs> Visra is fat, but yeah. y- he looks like a wrestler. Yeah, he, he's he was big. built, though. right? Yeah, uh, Yokozuna was fat. Ooh, he yeah. looks like a wrestler. Mm-hmm. Uh, Umaga was fat. He looks like a wrestler. Oh, that guy, yeah. But this guy is fat. He don't look like a wrestler. He looks like a gangster, lah, basically. <laughs> so to me, like, oh, okay, okay, alright, lah. No, maybe to we me can work with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can work with that. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Um, I remember there was one time in Majalah Tiga. Okay. They covered. Uh, it's called Malaysia Pro Wrestling, the yeah. MYPW. Mm-hmm. So they covered that. Um, but yeah, I guess. Uh, Malaysians are still not too open to that idea yet. Mm. Maybe I don't know. Give another two or three years. Maybe yeah. we are two, three, five years, or even ten years. Yeah, yeah. Um, to me, I'm just amazed that we have a promotion in Malaysia. Correct. I'm amazed by that already. Correct. Right, yeah. and then I, I'm amazed that I know that Singapore has their own yes. promotion. Uh, Philippines got their own promotions. I'm not sure about Indonesia and Thailand, mm-hmm. but It already amazes me, like oh, we have this kind of promotions. Yes. So there are chances for us, of people course. like us, to join. <laughs> But backstage, though. <laughs> backstage. I know, like maybe I, I would say, like I want to cross my my list of being a real wrestler, like one day. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Hey, why not? Maybe like just like even once in the in the ring, also I'm okay, like then I can die happily. <laughs> Let me work you, then workers. Let me work. Let me train you to be. Yes, please. You know, please. Fighting that. fit or wrestling fit? Wrestling fit. Yeah, now wrestling fit. Yeah. yeah, like I said, uh, in uh, I want the CM Punk body. <coughs> <Can>. <laughs> I don't want any all those buff ones. I just want CM Punk body. Yeah, no problem. That we can work on. <laughs> okay, so I I have a question for you. You know how MMA fighters. Right? Right, how they beat up their opponents. Mm, very good. The yeah. end of the match, you can see bruises and everything and all that, right? Mm-hmm. And then during their press conference, the day after also, they still have bruises. They are bunk up here and there and all that. Correct. Right? Is boxing like that also? No, that depends actually, Wakas. Mm. Uh, now you have, like MMA as well. Mm. You have several type of boxers that favors certain style. Okay. Now in boxing, okay, I'll just give you four major style in boxing. We have the outfighters, mm-hmm. which literally means you are fighting from the outside. So this kind of boxer, they like to do jab and cross one two one two, and they don't want to go near them. Okay. Yeah. When okay, for example, like you and me right now, so I'll just stay I like this kind of distance, and I'll just throw long shots at you. Mm. So I'm um, getting points from you. Okay. So we have the the next one. We have the swarmer. The swarmer is the one that keeps 
pressuring on you. So let's say me here. So I'm going to get into your space, mm. uh, something like that. So if you're dealing with me, obviously I'm gonna get more shots. So yeah. you can imagine that I'm gonna get more boost. Out of outfighters just now, obviously the face would be clean, cleaner than the rest because mm. he or she don't favor fighting from the inside. Okay. Then we have this one slugger. Yeah, or brawler. Mm -hmm. So as the name goes, I don't think I need to explain it to you. This <laughs> yeah, yeah. this person just want to get into the heat on the moment, just throw any punches. And normally this... Just want this, to knock you out. Like, oh, just want to knock you out. This kind of boxer lacks footwork, lacks the finesse, okay. but has the firepower to do it. Okay. Uh, like if you're talking about the now nowadays boxers, it would be Deontay Wilder. Mm -hmm. You heard of him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just there yeah, and then just pick the crap. And then of course we have the boxer puncher, which is the combination of these three. Mm. So style, we we boxers have this saying: style makes fight. Okay. So you want to see that, right? You want to see bruises? Okay. Now how about I pair boxer puncher and a slugger? Oh, then you know that you will see bruises at the end of a post fight uh, on the interview. Okay. But if I pair out, out fighters and say swarmer, so the out fight, this is the swarmer, and the out fighters will just step out and the swarmer is stepped in so generally the fight will be clean so to speak mm. uh, so of course the end result mostly will be point. unanimous decision yeah decision, point base lah point base yeah oh, okay. so like that but the art of boxing itself of course is hit and don't get hit so i need to hit someone but i don't want to get hit back uh, simply because i don't want to get the point deducted from me yep and of course, we don't get hurt. Um, you have to understand that when you go to combat sports, MMA included, mm -hmm. if you get into that ring or the octagon in this case, uh, your ex uh, the amount of you getting hit in the head, you have an expiry. So that's why you have this term punch drunk. Have you ever heard of it? Mm -hmm. You get punch drunk and then you get all this concussion yep, and yep. Parkinson disease. Yes, uh, some boxers say, oh, no, there's never been... Um, you know, proof from researchers, but I do believe staunchly that all this came from repeated impact. Come on. I mean, if, True. if a person were to hit you in the head so many times and with a huge force, do you think that something will happen to your brain? There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. True. So, I suppose that's boxing. But of course, once a while, or maybe many of times, because audience demand it, mm -hmm. like you demand it, mm -hmm. we want blood. We were mm, bruises. Yeah, true, <laughs> true, 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 true. So style make fight. So we try to pair up with these boxes. So what kind of a boxer you are? I was when I was a kid. So I was small. <laughs> okay. So okay, it was really sad then. My coach say that the wind can knock me out, and people can just like you know reach out mm, to their hand. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, I yeah, can't yeah. even reach to I them. I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, I can't be an outfighter. Mm. <laughs> Uh, so you had to be either a brawler or a... Chew, a swarmer. Swarmer, so yeah. Go inside. So here comes the story that I want to tell you that there's one one day that actually haunted me mm -hmm. and then uh, lead me to become a brawler and a slugger. Mm -hmm. And But by the way, right now, I'm a boxer puncher, I would say, uh, because, of course, I've acquired some knowledge from boxing mm -hmm. and I don't want to get hit. So I've learned a few tricks. So what transpired me to hit as fast as I can and as hard as I can. So there's this one... Okay, back then in the primary school, when we had boxing match, it was just one minute of two rounds. Uh, we try not to... Um, we try not to... I guess the adults don't want the children to fight mm. you know, uh, longer duration because, of course, this will have effect on children. Yep. Now, I was preparing for this one minute, two rounds of match, okay, with someone. So I was small, of course, the coach said that, okay, I need to just go inside and just punch the heck out of someone. Mm -hmm. So I need to work on my stamina. Or oh, back then, it was a lot, of, a lot of runs, a lot of skipping. I still remember that. My goodness, even the thought of that kind of makes me want to vomit now. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. can you imagine I that? get that, I get yeah, that. It makes me want to vomit It's now. like me uh, imagining I had to work out after this. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and twice, <laughs> twice a day. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah. I'm glad that that's over, but I'm still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so, apart from that stamina and all, I need to work on my wing work. Mm. So, the wing work is, you know, this is the wing. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know where to place yourself or how to cut the wing, etc., etc., to gain advantage mm -hmm. from your opponent. Mm -hmm. Now, usually when I train like that, I'll get into the ring. Of course, you want to be as practical as possible. Yeah. 
So there's one, I was six o'clock in the evening. So I, I was alone. Mm. And the dead one in the hall. So I was, you know, shadow boxing, just moving my head, pop, 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 you know, like that. So came one girl, uh, she was tall. She was tan, mm -hmm. Chinese. Okay. Uh, she looked like my classmate, the one that sat beside me. Her name is, was Shirley. Okay. So Shirley was a basketball player because she was tall. She was, at that time, I was eight or nine. So she was probably five feet one at that time. That's considered tall already. That's tall already, yeah. That's tall. And she yeah. was playing basketball already in okay. school. Okay. That's how good she was. I mean, that's how tall she was also. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so this girl looked like Shirley. So I call her Shirley also. Okay. So I said, but I didn't call Shirley. She just came in. She just stepped into the ring. Obviously, she knew what she was doing. She was shadow boxing also. So I can't help but to feel, hey, uh, I'm using this for now. So okay. do you mind? Then she was like, okay, you know what? Why don't we spar? Oh, okay. But when someone asks me, Scott, whether a boy or a girl, I'll oblige. Okay, let's do this. That's fine. So no headgear. I just like, okay, uh, can you just not punch me too much? Uh, too hard because I have a match coming soon. So I need to, you know, preserve myself. So this girl was tall, long arms, long legs, mm -hmm. and I was I was sad. <laughs> I was I was a sad looking fellow. Okay. I tried to chase after her, tried to jab and cross. I can't do hooks because she was that fast. I remember that she was just throwing at me. She didn't chew any punch at me. Maybe she chewed some jab, but just pouring jab. And the act of pouring jab is your reaching with your left hand mm -hmm. and then you just hold that person so remember that i said that i was that short until my coach said that someone can hold yep, me and yep. my arms length and the arms length right so yep. she did that to me so <laughs> I, I was getting frustrated because at that time i was already getting better i was better than okay than okay I, was like, I, I can't get into this this girl's range i can't even do a punch that hit her this is unacceptable mm. and i still remember that she was taunting me she said you're too slow man. you're that bad man. maybe you should just quit boxing if we, see a girl beats you i oh, get man. that yeah, 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 yeah. i was like oh, i was like oh, man. <laughs> then you know what i did mm. i just took a knee okay i took a knee and i just couldn't accept the fact that i can't even land a hit on this girl then i still remember that she said that hey you know what if you want to go find this spot if you want to be you know a man that is learn how to be faster and harder and she left so this Shirley did that to me so okay fine you know what I'm going to train harder I'm going to shadow box again I will, and then after maybe after 10 minutes of that I continue shadow box and true enough uh, two weeks afterwards I had that match with that someone uh, with my opponent I won I won then funny thing was I thought that she was a new student mm. Then I asked my teacher, you know, hey, uh, is this girl this tall, <laughs> tan, Chinese, <laughs> uh, in the team? No. Are you talking about Shirley? No, no, not Shirley, because Shirley was my classmate. Shirley, Shirley, Shirley never joined boxing. Mm. But yeah, looked like Shirley, but not Shirley. What are you talking about? We don't have anyone like that. When was this? Two weeks ago. I was in the day one, six o'clock. Yeah, but... Are you sure it's not Shirley? It's not Shirley. If it's Shirley, so she called me by my name, but she never called me by my name. Okay. I never saw her. I swear to you, I never saw her in my life. I don't know. Maybe she's, she's just an outsider. La, la, do, do, too much. La. Just go, 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 go. So at that, that time, see, as I'm talking to you now, my, my voice is a bit quivering right now. Yeah. Because that was my first weird encounter with, you want to say ghosts? So until today, you don't know spirit. who that is. I don't know who that was. It was a, wow. it was a tall, tan Chinese girl. Wow. Uh, who was apparently faster and stronger than me. <laughs> okay. That's so, kind of creepy also. Yeah, it was creepy. I, was like, <laughs> I still remember I was shaking and I asked, asked my parents. My parents, of course, ah, you, you, you see too much. But you have to understand something. Uh, that I was in Sarawak. Mm. So Sarawak is the house, is the tinder box of these stories, this story. Goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So of course, when you are around this thing, I can't help but to feel, hey, that's just, that's, that's, you know, that's the spirit. Okay. It's not Shirley, and I asked Shirley the next day. So are you crazy? You know, I wasn't even school. I, I went back early. I went to tuition. It's not Shirley. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my! Oh my! I still remember. I, I wasn't in the mood. 
I, I, I couldn't study, of course. Uh. I remember canteen, very hard time. I didn't eat anything. I just drink syrup, that's it. I, oh my God. God. I had that. My parents just told me that I'm just weak will. <laughs> but I said, like, okay, oh man. But I did talk to my grandparents. Mm. My grandparents just said this. Okay, if you see this kind of thing, just don't provoke them. How am I provoking them? They are coming to me and provoking <laughs> me. They want to fight me, so I fight them back. Yeah. Yeah, even they ask you to fight back. Please don't fight back. Took a knee, like what you did in the middle. So, yes, Waka. So, <laughs> I would say that, 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 that Shirley as well actually inspired me to be faster like what I am right now, to be <laughs> faster and harder. Because what she said was just downright me. You know? and it, if it's a ghost, so seriously, ghosts are that mean. <laughs> I was just I was a small guy just trying to make a name in boxing. Even if time. if it's even if it's a ghost, that means it's kind of uh, the ghost that actually made you faster, lah. Well, but <laughs> okay. Now you talk about ghosts, right? Let me ask you this, Wakas. Mm. Now, when I say ghost, can you touch ghosts? No, right? Now, when you think about it, right? This this girl was holding not you, right? only touching me, was humiliating me in the <laughs> yeah. ring as well. <laughs> And then telling me that I should be faster and stronger and I can't go far if this is the case. Mm-hmm. So I can't help but to say, well, is this a ghost? Is this a spirit? Is this just one girl who just happened to waltz in into the, uh, the school mm-hmm. and fight? But the, probab- uh, the chances of that, the odds of that are just, you know, you can't, you can't find that logic, you see. True. Yeah. So once I said that, uh, once I confide that into my parents and into my teachers, right, everyone was like, "Hey, you sing things. I talk to you. I think you were nervous about the match here and there." Uh-huh. But no, no, really, it, I got touched. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really got touched. Yeah, she threw me some jab, but that's about it. Luckily, I mm. see. But yeah, seriously, it was. Oh my goodness! See, I I can't even fathom. How is it that that thing happened to me? Mm-hmm. Was I? I wasn't nervous. Uh, when people say I was nervous, yeah, I was a little bit. Uh, I was. I wasn't nervous. I said I was shy mm-hmm. because I was going to fight in front of crowd. But not nervous. Definitely not because I was confident of my ability until she made me feel like that. <laughs> so yes, that's wow. Wow. From let's go. My boxing journey is kind of, kind of started off from a ghost story. My goodness. <laughs> it's like Field of Dreams. If you guys have watched Field of Dreams before. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yeah. The baseball yeah, yeah. <laughs> ghost. Yeah, but I don't think you can touch that ghost. Yeah, you can talk to them, but yeah, you can't yeah, touch yeah. them. Yeah, you can't touch it. Oh, man. Jeez. <laughs> See, when I'm talking to you now, I'm warning. I'm just like scared whether she's like behind me asking me to be faster. But uh, I am a lot faster now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, re- he's a speedster for a reason. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that. Have you ever thought of going to MMA? No, no, no. Um, many, many years ago, uh, someone did ask me that question. That mm. No, and my answer is still no. Uh, simply because number one, I've tried taekwondo. Ah, I was really bad at it. I figured I can kick. Mm-hmm. And when I see wrestling, new wrestlers, right, and Brazilian jiu jitsu, mm-hmm. you need some sort of a different sort of training. Mm. So my perception is this. Uh, now remember that I mentioned about. Golf and boxing, right? Yep. So I competed both of them. So I was doing well in golf. And I was doing well in boxing. But golf, I was hitting a plateau. So I couldn't get to that level. And now, get this, Wakas. Golf is my number one sport. Okay. My favorite sport. I okay. love golf. Uh, when you ask me about golf and boxing, I would prefer golf. Still. Until, until today. Now, until today. I love a game of golf rather than a you know, fight. <laughs> so the thing is... Uh, then I figured that okay, um, it was my father that hey, I don't think you can do two things at once. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can, but it's at that time maybe because I was studying as well at that time. Yeah, I was in school, so you need to study. You need to do this. So, uh, please, can you just make a decision which one you want to go serious at? Maybe the other one you just play like you know sometimes sometimes. So okay, you know what? I never really win in golf. You know, I never really got that 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 good. Mm-hmm. You know, I was doing well, but mm-hmm. not that good to be considered as an elite player but I was banging it in boxing so I said okay you know what I, I it's not that I, maybe I didn't like golf more boxing is just my second but in terms of achievement you know what let me just go for boxing and I think I made the right decision there so uh, what I'm trying to arrive here actually Wakas is uh, maybe it's just me mm-hmm. I need to focus at most two things at once 
So when you see MMA, MMA literally means mixed, mixed martial, martial yeah. art. Yeah. So if I go into MMA, if I just do boxing, that's just going to be an unfair advantage for me. Mm. And of course, you need to learn a lot of disciplines. Now, maybe for me, mm-hmm. it was too much to bear. So, no. yeah. So that's my answer. No. Okay. Yeah. But cool. I love MMA. I love watching it. Yeah. yeah, yeah uh, one championship comes here. I never missed it. Oh really? I loved it. Nice. I, I love the vibe. It feels like you're going to a nightclub, really. Yeah, and then all this vibe, and these fighters were all gutsy, all brave, all talented as well. I to a point that I think that they are better than the UFC fighters. And that's uh, another story. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I watch uh, one championship. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I watch UFC, but all those on TV or on screen lah. Yeah. I never watch it in front of me, so I always wonder how does it feel to hear that bang. Oh yes, you should. Because yeah. if you watch in TV, you you couldn't hear that. You you can mm. hear like something like that lah. Yeah, no. Just a clap yeah. or something. Yeah. You you couldn't hear like the real punch to the face, you know. Oh, Because I saw like photos, I saw like YouTube videos how they did knockouts and everything, right? True. But you couldn't really hear that punch to the face. Yeah. So I always wonder like how does it really sound, you know? You were there like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I suppose the best to describe it would be it's like a thudding sound, like like boom. That. Mm. Especially when someone hits someone's body, then you can really hear the loud toot. Yeah, yeah, yeah especially yeah, body yeah. punches or body kicks. If you're talking about MMA or Muay Thai, mm. but yes, uh, well, maybe post pandemic when one championship comes, you should. Yeah, yeah. I think I should. It's just I not the go. fight. The whole environment is just superb. Uh, mm. I think one championship did a great job in promoting mm. and also just generally the event management itself was. Was impeccable. Nice, yeah. nice. I should go one day. Yes, one day. Yeah. We should. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. by everything is okay, yes. I'll go. I'll go. I'll yeah. bring you. Personally, I'll bring you. Because I've bring. I've gone to wrestling match. My mm-hmm. first wrestling match. Mm-hmm. I've gone to a football match mm-hmm. in the stadium. Uh, Chelsea versus Malaysia. <laughs> oh, okay. I've been there. Oh, yes, yeah. uh, I've been to concerts, events, and all that. But I've never been to anything that is close combat sports. Oh, yeah. Okay. So maybe I should go one day. You should. Maybe if I'm fighting, you should too. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't know you back then. Uh, yes. Right. right? <laughs> if I know you back then, I would just go like, "Hey, do you want a photographer? <laughs> just give me a free pass." Ah. Future. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once the pandemic's <laughs> over, I'm getting a match. You're gonna be there. Because that's how I get the uh, wrestling gig. <laughs> <laughs> But it, it got cancelled. It got cancelled. I literally just go like, "Do you guys need a photographer?" <laughs> It's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I can. Just come. We give you a free pass, and then." Something happened, so I couldn't make it. Also, I'm like, it's okay, like maybe not this time, someday in the future, maybe. Chill, chill. Right, will be. Yeah. Okay. So we go to your favorite, favorite topic here, man. Gaming. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Love it. What was the first, the very first game that you played? It was Doom. Doom. Yeah. Nice. Nice. It's Doom. So can imagine. When I open Doom and shooting all these demons, mm. all the blood splatter. Like my mom said, "What the heck is that?" <laughs> this game is too violent for you, I mean. <laughs> yeah, it is. It was. Oh my goodness! Even yeah. I know it was violent for me, but I played anyway. Mm, mm. So that was the first. And of course, I grew my FPS love to that first-person shooter gaming. Mm. Then afterwards, um, I mentioned about Sega Saturn as well. Mm, I, mm. you know, play Sega Saturn is using CD, right? CD and cartridge. Ah, yeah, two cool, ports. Cool. Yeah, so I had the cartridge and I had the CD as well. Nice. So I played some games there as well, mostly fighting games and football, FIFA games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I guess that's how the journey started. Of course, I got addicted by it. <laughs> Then boxing happened. And I think everyone got addicted to games lah during our age. Yeah. Of that kind of way because, uh, I remember my very first console was Sega Mega Drive 2 Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a great console. Hey, that's a great console. Yeah, yeah. That was my. I got that when I was I don't know five, six. Mm. So my mom and dad bought it, bought me that. So uh, I grew up with two older sisters. So I they don't really play games. <laughs> It's just me playing alone, or whenever my cousin came to the house, uh-huh. so I play with them. Uh-huh. Right. Uh, I think at that point of time, I was really heavily into. It was Dragon Ball Z game. I can't remember what Dragon Ball Z game, but. I was into that uh-huh. kind of game lah. Yeah. So wow. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, like you said. So we got addicted mm. and then we we tried to find more. We tried to search for more. Correct. And of course, PS2 came. Now that's when gaming really booms out. So people realized that hey, I don't need like to go to arcade. Mm. Why so? Yeah. You know, I spend coins, I spend money, 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 money. Yeah. 
what I can get a PS2 mm. and at that time at shops you can just get one game for five ringgit ten ringgit Correct. at that Correct. time it was pirated games. Correct. So yeah, I got myself a PS2 as well. You got the fat one or the slim one? The fat one. Nice. Yeah, fat one. Because I had the slim one. <laughs> slim one was actually it was okay. Uh, the first generation slim one. Uh, the f- it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had that. Uh, I used to envy people who got the slim one because you can carry it everywhere you go. It's mm. easy to carry. Uh, to me, it looks ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fat one better, but w- by the time I had my hands on PS2, uh-huh. it's the slim one. They they discontinued the fat one. Oh, oh okay. That, yeah, yeah that's so okay. same as how I got my first PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had my first PlayStation was PS1, mm-hmm. the small, the cute PS1. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the big one. Right? <laughs> And uh, at that point of time, also, they discontinued that thing. So, it, they came out with the smaller one. I don't really like the smaller one because, to me, it looks very girlish. Uh, yes, I agree. The PS1. is yes. To me, it looks really cute for a video game. A video game console should be big, fat, thick. Oh, yeah, that <laughs> sounds so bad. That sounds so wrong. But that's, you know, the idea. It reminds me of Xbox. Xbox Xboxes are Xbox. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Xboxes yeah. Like that. But yeah. now, I think Xbox is still big. Mm, but not as big as PS5. Yeah, oh yeah. And the design is way. I, I'm I'm a pro Xbox guy, <laughs> <laughs> just because of PS5 looks like a Kowei air purifier. Yeah, I agree that. Oh right, <laughs> we can even <laughs> fool our. You know, if you have a wife, you have a mom there. Hey, yeah, that air purifier. You don't know about. You know that that meme came out like last year, right? Yeah, uh, all the meme and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm a very pro Xbox guy, just because of also the controller. I'm very fond of the anal- one of the analog stick to be on where the D-pad is. Because uh, yes, P- yes. Sony, is, everything is down there, right? Correct. Yeah, so I'm very... I love that, uh, basically. Good, good, good. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's the, yeah. I would say that's the golden age of gaming as well. Yeah. Now, then afterwards, after the console war, mm. that was the console war, mm. then we have, the, of course, the birth of PSP, the handheld console. Mm. Well, not to say that PSP changed the game. It was Nintendo Game Boy. Correct. But PSP was the first handheld to feature a real-time, nice graphic gaming. Correct. Yes. True. Agree. Then afterwards, though, PC took over. Why? Yeah. Because they figured out, hey, we can mod PC as strong as we want. And then fast forward till now, as you know, that there are many, many games that demand more and more and more out of hardware. Mm. So when you compare PC and console, when you buy a console, step up until now, when you buy it, that's what it is. You Correct. get what you pay for. Correct. When you have a PC, you can, it's endless. Mm. You can just mod it, you can add, subtract True. something, True. just to make way for new games. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So yeah, funny thing about gaming is, it keeps evolving. Mm. So right now, uh, right now I'm uh, fortunately and luckily as well, I got a full-time job in a video game company. Mm. Now, now I'll tell you this, Wakas. Even w- when I reach into that company I, and I work with them right now, it feels that I'm so small because there's a lot of evolution in gaming right now. Mm-hmm. That, oh, like this. Oh, like that. That's a new one. So, long story short, right? When you think about your days when you had that Sega, mm. and then you thought to yourself, man, hey, this is just a game, you know? I mean, it's a hobby. Yeah. Now, gaming is becoming a multi-million, reaching billions Correct. industry as well. Yep. Yeah. yeah, It's fascinating, really. I'll be honest with you. I never thought it would turn that way. <laughs> I thought that it would just be a hobby still, even when I was a you know, high schooler and all. Mm. But I remember my dad said this, though. I have a feeling that arcade will die. It did die. And then, gaming will become a billion-dollar industry. It did. So when they introduce microtransaction, do you know what that means? Yep. Like you have to buy g- yep, yep. something out of something. You correct, know? correct. So unfortunately, that's what brought gaming down as well. Uh, it's, uh, you know, create all this greed among gaming companies. Mm. But because of that, gaming now is a multi-million industry mm. because of that micro ma- uh, microtransaction. Yeah. Yes. I really hate it when, you know how you have to, b- you buy it, you bought a game. Yeah. Right. And then you want a certain character. <laughs> yeah. Then you have to purchase that character and then you have to download the character. I'm like, dude, can you just give it like because when I had PS one, my favorite game was wrestling. Yeah, of obviously. <laughs> obviously. Obviously. Yeah, SmackDown, I, right? I played SmackDown one. Yeah. I played SmackDown two. I played okay. WWF Attitude. Yeah. 
uh, the the ugly 3D <laughs> 3D and then I can't remember whatever game lah. At that point of time, Smackdown One and Two is you just unlock the character when you play Season One. True. Right. True. Uh, you play lah until what year? I don't know, but yeah. you will unlock something. Yeah. True. So that makes you want to okay. You know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna play this. That's very true. Right. Yeah. And then PS2 came still same thing. You know, you still unlock, unlock until the PS3 came. That's when, oh, we have this pack. You can down, you can purchase it. Yeah. You can download it. I'm like, yes. Then where's the fun in there? PS3 right? was 2008, I believe. Mm. Now that's when the microtransaction happens. Yeah, You're right. Yeah. Correct. Mm-hmm. So, I was really against that. Actually, until today, lah. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm, I'm yeah, not. I'm I not a fan you. of that. You know, I'm not a fan of. I already bought this game for this amount of money, and then you ask me to buy more. Yeah. Right. Unfortunately, mm, not a fan. Workers, yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> yes, we can grind, and then we have to put hours. And now yeah. look at us; we can't put hours on that. Yeah. So the only way for you to enjoy that privilege or your character, as you say, that is to pay. Mm. And maybe it's you, but someone out there say, oh, "I can't wait anymore. I just pay." Yeah. So I this know. is what driving the sales. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So microtransaction is not going to go off any soon. I don't think it will ever go off. Nope, it's a business world. It's now, a business now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. business now. Yeah. Do you, Do you remember the last console you have? The last console I had was PS2. That's the last console you have. Because I then. So yeah. un- until today, and un- uh, from then until today, it's just PC for you. Yes, it's just PC. Wow. Because I found out at PC you can play more games, and the performance is just simply better. Mm. Yeah. So mm, mm. of course. Back then, PC. I still remember when I 2003 to 2007. Mm. It was just that normal PC, but I play a lot of Counter Strike. Then CS mm, mm, mm. Then I remember afterwards. Then the idea of upgrading your PC, upgrade, upgrade. Just talk about upgrade. You need to upgrade to a newer, a newer yep. graphic card. Yeah. So at that time, uh, I was already in KL at that time. So I was a frequent visitor to Sungai Wang. Okay. Sungai Wang top floor there, if you remember. Yeah. It was the tech floor, right? Yep. Yep. So that time, okay, apart from the games I get from that, they hang this banner, Intel i, Intel i, Intel i, that Intel i was sexy at that time, yeah, still is yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. And then you get all these uh, monster face and all these Warcraft monsters yeah. and, and character, and they market it with graphic cards. Like, oh my goodness, I have to get this card to, to see the character like yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. So that's when I realized also PC is going to overtake console, mm-hmm. simply because you can improve it continuously mm. unfortunately for playstations or xboxes or nintendo at that you can't do that yep. uh, yeah true okay. so, yeah once you buy it it's there yeah uh, so that's gaming for you but that doesn't mean that console is going to die any sooner console do have exclusive titles correct that's number one correct. number two console gives you leniency in term of You want to play with people around you? There you go. You got two or three controls. Mm. PCs, you can't do that anymore. Before you can, but now no more. N- no more? Yeah, I mean oh, you shit. can have two players and you have split screen. Yeah, no more. Yeah. Okay. You need That's to have true. sim account, epic account. Yeah. Then you can yeah. play together. That you, is true. And you have to buy separate game accounts. <laughs> It's all business now, workers. It's all business, baby. <laughs> to earn that money. <laughs> wow. Yes. Look at all that. I mean, I remember when I was little, gaming is not that expensive. Oh no. Oh, it's now it's like geez, no, no. it's really expensive. True. It's really, really, really expensive. Now, why do you think mobile gaming is taking the heat now? It's hot now, mm. mobile gaming, because mm. right now all you have to do is just pick up your phone, download yep. a few games, that and is then true. yeah, it's number one in Malaysia right now, mobile gaming. Mm. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, I saw there was one. I think it was 2019. I went to a mama. Okay. Just to hang out with my friend lah. Okay. Right. So we actually hang out. Okay. We actually like sitting at this talking. Very good. <laughs> There's a table behind me. is like a really long table. Everyone is playing their phone. I'm like, dude, might as well just stay at home. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, true. Might as well just stay at home. Yeah. But that's the trend now. <laughs> But that's the trend now. You're gonna see the same thing all over again. One true. mobile gaming is the trend right now. You will see in Malaysia that is in Malaysia. True. I would say that mobile gaming is going to stay here maybe at least until five to ten years. Um, the ha- the the phones now are getting stronger too. Correct. Yeah, 
they are they are yep, doing yep, the cons- yep. uh, they are doing the phones like consoles now. You get, it's getting stronger. You need to buy, 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 buy. Exactly. And mobile gaming has microtransaction as well. You I want know. this character, you <laughs> want this shirt, you want this jacket, you want these pants, shoes. Buy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and some like if you know Apple has Apple Arcade, right? Mm-hmm. You have to subscribe to that. Yeah. <laughs> Some business now, my G. Oh even, my god! Even when I'm I'm working in the, in my company right now, I see wow, every single step of the ladder that you have to climb, you have to, you pay. Have to buy. <laughs> the only thing that you still can't pay, that money can't buy, mm. is of course rank. Let's say let's yeah. say you play games like like you mentioned about Call of Duty and then Dota also. Yeah, you need to grind. Still, having said that, mm. if you want to grind while looking good, you still need to pay. <laughs> I'm I'm a I'm a victim as well. I, <laughs> <laughs> I became a victim actually. Uh, when I had a PS4 and Xbox One, yeah, I became a victim. Sure. <laughs> I, I don't want to be a victim, but I became one of the victims, lah. Because you want to be a unique-looking victim. That's why. <laughs> kind of, yeah. like, kind of, like, like, like uh, when I had PS4, I had the WWE 2K 20, no, 2K19. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. So I wanted to play this one character. I'm like, <laughs> ah, how do I get it? How do I get it? Do can I just unlock? No, I can't. Yeah. Okay lah. Uh, go to PSN. Okay lah. Buy lah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I play like that character for like I don't know twice. Yes. And then I feel like, why did I buy this character for <laughs> what? <laughs> Honestly, for what? <laughs> That's how they make the money. Oh the my god. Right? So sad, right? That's gaming right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm speaking to you from a six years old to now 31 years old. I've seen a lot of changes in gaming now. <laughs> And guess what? I still love it. I'm St- still okay, lah. Yeah, I'm still okay, lah. I I don't play game as much as I was when I was little, mm-hmm. but still, lah. A little <laughs> bit. I still. Uh, You know, read the news about gaming. You know what's new and all that, but I don't really buy it anymore. I I mean, like now I play games on my laptop. Uh, it can support GTA. I'm I'm okay already. <laughs> yeah, good, good, good. Uh, GTA, uh, Left 4 Dead, and Counter Strike. I'm done. I'm okay. That's good. Cool. <laughs> those three are timeless. You can go. Yeah, yeah, true, games. true. Yeah. Those three are timeless, man. <laughs> I don't know how people can still play GTA till today, and they say there's not going to be any GTA 6. Yeah, Because guess, uh, Rockstar said they will release a a remastered version of GTA 5 on PS3. Yeah, 2022. Oh my goodness! And I'm like, Everyone dude, just so just pleased. release a GTA 6 lah. Sure. Right? It's been like how many years now? GTA is like, yeah, it's 2000. I can't remember 2013. 2013. Oh my god! Look how long that was. Eight years. Eight years. This wow. is the first like, when they released that trailer, right? This is the first Rockstar video and article people are hating so much this is the first time I see it yeah because people love Rockstar stuff yeah and then now people are just oh, have you played Manhunt before yes I do that thing is gore yeah, it's just gore cool. as hell yeah. and is really not good for children because all those explicit contents and sexual contents inside I played it when I was a teenager well I wasn't same. supposed to but same you know. I played it when I was in school I yeah. was 14 I think <laughs> I finished that game for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, <laughs> because I don't really finish games, especially on um, adventure or open open sandbox. I don't know what they call it, lah. Yeah. But I don't really finish that kind of games. Okay. I can finish games like Tony Hawk's oh. Pro Skater, uh, all those stuff. I can finish in within two days. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. There was one time I played. I guess I've played it before. Uh, it was Tony Hawk's uh, American Waste. No, Tony Hawk's Underground 2 and American Wasteland. The first time I played it, yeah, it took me a while. But then I know already what I'm going to do it. I finished that game in two hours. The story mode in hard. That's very impressive. You, <laughs> I, honestly, when you say that, you're the first person for me to know who's finished that at that way. <laughs> I should have gone back when I tell my friends, hey, I know someone can beat you faster. Yeah, than that. <laughs> in two hours, I finished that game and I'm like, okay, so what else? Because that point of time, the game, you can get like five ringgit, right? Yeah. So I have like two stacks of it. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, what game are we going to play next? <laughs> so yeah, I remember that and I think the first game, first, uh, I, I call it adventure lah. Mm-hmm. Basically, like there's a story mode like GTA and all that, right? The first game I finished was Bully. It was Ooh. Rockstar also. Yeah, it was a good Rockstar game. They should make Bully too. They should make Bully yeah, too. Make but bully. till today, nothing. Because yeah, no. Yep. Yeah. So I finished. That was the first adventure game I finished. 
and then Manhunt mm-hmm. and then my first Devil May Cry game I played was Devil May Cry 3 Mm, okay, you caught at the right time. Yeah, but I did not finish that game. Oh, okay. okay. But I finished Devil May Cry 4. Oh, oh that can happen. <laughs> I don't know how, but I finished that game. <laughs> Which is quite impressive for me. I'm like, oh. That uh, is very impressive. Because all my friends, right, whoever had PS2 or PS3 at that point of time, they always like, dude, you need to play this game, you need to play to the finish, blah, yes. blah, blah, and all that. And I'm like, no, no, I'm I'm a wrestling and skateboard kind of guy. Uh. <laughs> I can finish those two, but I can't finish any any of those GTA and whatnot because I had GTA San Andreas, mm-hmm. never finished that game ever. Mm, I can relate. Yeah, I can. But relate. GTA Five, I can finish it twice. Ah uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I had GTA Five on Xbox One, mm-hmm. finished it, and then <laughs> my laptop, I just reinstall it, <laughs> play it again, within three days, finished it. <laughs> yeah, you can never. I don't think you can ever get tired of. GTA yeah, fun, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that was fun. All right, Wakas. Right. Wakas. Unfortunately, we need to cut this conversation short. Can I have a toss? I have an Evan, aka I have work to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Last. Last topic. Last okay. Topic. Okay. Ghosts. Have you encountered any ghost ever? A few minutes ago, I talked about Sh- uh, Shirley, but let's not revisit that again. Okay. Otherwise, I'll be running here as fast as faster than I should. I'll be alone <laughs> after this. Man. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, surely thanks for the memories, but <laughs> we're going to talk about fly ghosts here in Fly Project. Yeah, exclusive, here, everyone. Exclusive. My goodness. Wow. Okay, so I went to Fly Project 2017. So I'm mm-hmm. um, just gonna just some uh, a little history. Okay, Chloe, uh, which is our current Fly Cycle instructor, joined Fly Cycle 2017. Mm-hmm. So I went. To the studio, mm. it was it was Moncara, Moncara studio. Okay. That was okay. the first ever and the only studio at that time. And then I joined, I myself joined Fly Project in 2018. Mm-hmm. So of course, when I was a rider, just a rider, just going for Chloe's uh, class, and I went for uh, Ziggy's class mm-hmm. at that time, Isha, mm-hmm. Nick's class. Of course, I hear tales. Okay. From the from the front desk. Okay. Like, oh, have you ever seen these? Hey, hey, what's the need like this? Like All that kind of noise. So I was like, huh? Like these people are just like overwork or you know or take too much protein shake or whatever. <laughs> so okay. Like, this is my perception. My perception is when you take too much protein shake, this is what happens. You think you think you, you see tend things. to think cuckoo. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So okay, there's one day I still remember. Okay, this was in Montcara. Yeah? Okay. I got two stories for you. Marcus. Okay. One in Montcara first, yeah. Mm. The OG. Mm. So it was 2017. It was I still remember. It was near Christmas. Okay. So I was at that time. I wasn't feeling right. Okay. So when Chloe had her class, and I, I followed Chloe at that time. So you know, there's a another sub tier, upper tier up there. Yep. That, yep. You know, you guys put your stuff at. Yeah. It was the store room, right? Or it's store level, so to speak. Yeah. So I go up there just to you know catch some shut eyes. So there was a bean bag there, so I just plop myself on the bean bag and just uh, resting. Hmm. So you know there was a dryer washing machine at the end. Yep, there, yep, right? yep. So when I plop down, and then I I just put on my earphones just to listen to some music, mm-hmm. I can hear it spinning, and when I turn back, the washer. Uh, yes. Okay. I saw there was towel inside there. Oh, I see. What the heck? Like, who's washing it right now? But when I see the when I see down there, because there was a ladder, right? Yep. When you when you climb the ladder. There has to be some sound. I would have heard it. Of course. At that time, our our assistant was outside. Mm-hmm. He wasn't there. Mm-hmm. He was down there. I think, I think he was at my news. Mm-hmm. And the desk thing was just like uh, monkeying around at the desk thing. I'm pretty sure they weren't on the upper level. Yeah. But I look at the washer. It was spinning. So I I I was up there. I was I was screaming at the at the desk team. You know, hey, any of you guys uh, put towels inside this uh, washer dryer? I don't know. I What do we know? There's some inside that. It was spinning. Then we're like, "Are you sure?" And then one of them got up, looked into. There's nothing inside that. I was like, "Oh shit!" Oh, okay. I guess I was like seeing things. Like mm. Maybe I was tired. Mm. Then I was like, "Oh man, I'm oh, sorry about that." Okay, you know what? Maybe I just tired. So I just got back. So they went back to their desk then. So I put myself on the bean bag. And that thing spins again. I can <laughs> hear. You know how dryer spins. You know, yeah, you've been yeah. to laundry, right? Yeah, yeah, it spins yeah. yeah. I can hear. 
perfectly fine. And my earphone, you know, my earphone, it was a rap music. I'm pretty sure there wasn't any sound yeah, like that. Yeah, right? yeah. So I took off my earphone. I look back. I swear I look into, you know, ghost uh, tower. And they got eyes and mouth, that kind of uh, yep. typical ghost. Mm-hmm. Thing. Mm-hmm. I saw it on that screen. <laughs> Shit. I remember that I mengucap after that. Mm. Straight away, it was near Margaret at that time. I prayed Margaret straight away oh. <laughs> on that spot also. Mm. Uh, in uh, in effort for me to you know get rid of that thing. Mm. Mm. But it was I can hear my heart to do to do to do to do yeah, to do yeah, when yeah, I was yeah. doing it. It was a face of a tower, but there was two two holes, three holes, the eyes and the mouth. Okay. I was like, oh my goodness. And uh, tell you this, this is an exclusive podcast. Uh-huh. I never really tell this to anyone except Chloe. <laughs> so you'll be the first one to know this. <laughs> you know why I don't want to talk, I'll talk about this? Because okay, now we are not in Mon Cara right now. Yeah. So I have the guts to say it right here. <laughs> I have the guts to say it right here. Uh-huh. I've been keeping this quiet since 2017. It feels nice to just let Maybe it out now. Four yeah. years of secret, guys. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even tell I didn't tell Isha I didn't tell Joss I didn't tell Nick, I didn't tell all these OGs no cool I don't want okay, I don't want to jinx it that's all I don't want to tell yeah, 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 oh, yeah wow yeah. okay then so 2018 mm-hmm. so I, I got into Fly Project as a Fly Lab mm-hmm. Shadow Box Hit mm-hmm. and also Box 100 mm-hmm. So one day I was preparing for a match at that time also. One day I was punching the bag in the inside DC Mall. Okay. So DC Mall has a lot of deals. Okay. <laughs> so I give you mine now. So I was punching, of course, just practicing. So when I when you punch right, tung, 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 okay. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Mm. So at that time I didn't play any song at all. Okay. So it's just me and the bag. So I just want to focus. Then there was a moment where when I punch, tuk, 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 when I stop, of course I have to check my guard, just take a uh, just take a breather. Yep. I heard tuk, 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 tuk. It was double the punch. I was like, oh okay. Guess I, I was fast enough that I have echoes. Then okay. <laughs> I was, like, yeah, I, was uh, I was short sneery lah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was ready yeah. Yeah. Then I remember that I took I threw a jab and left hook. One two. Hmm. Two 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 two. Four times cannot be. I chew just I, I chew two punches only. Mm. Then I try again. I'll, I try to punch ten times. Mm. Ten is succession. Did it? Then true enough, it was. I heard there was. Was it like really subtle or it's really clear? It wasn't that clear. But I know. But the sound is there. So I just take a deep breath. The first thing, I'm pretty sure you remember this, the first thing that came to my mind was, oh my god, Shirley, are you here again? <laughs> yes, I'm going to fight you right now. I'm way faster now. Then, no. In fact, Wakas, I didn't see anyone at all at that time. Okay. Anyone. So I looked back, but I could feel someone or two or three was there. Mm. You know when you look at a corner of a room, right? Yeah. And then you feel it there. You feel it there. And it was my mistake. They say, oh, you think you can punch faster than me? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you forget what your grandparents said to you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then no nothing was being said to me mm. nothing was being replied so you actually said that I said that out loud oh fuck but I had that thing back in my mind say boy shut up <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so I, that, then my hand started to shake uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, I said, okay and then I just take off my gloves I went out at that time, the desk team was uh, Andrea at that time. Andrea mm. was there. Mm. Andrea didn't know. So Andrea, if you're listening to this... <laughs> there you go, Andrea. Yeah, He's a scoop for you. One day, if you remember that I decided to buy us ice cream... It's because of that. <laughs> yes, I just tried <laughs> to calm myself down. <laughs> because he just chaba a ghost yes. to a fight. So I wanted to stay macho away. <laughs> I don't want to say, Andy, I saw a ghost. No, I call Andy. Andy, I saw a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, man, yeah. that is one experience. Oh, man. my goodness. Yeah, I was... Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, see? Sometimes about ghosts, uh, what goes, mm. just like in uh, what we believe in Sarawak also, right? Yeah. You don't have to see it. You don't even have to hear anything about it or know anything. 
Some people say that it's actually built in your mind. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Some people say this. Ghosts only will appear if they feel challenged. So indeed, of course, when I was practicing, uh, I can't deny that sometimes I feel that Shirley don't have anything on me now. Could be, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. maybe that was a sign to humble myself. Mm, okay, you're yep, fast, yep, yep. but you're not as fast as us. True. So I true, guess that's what true, happened. True. Uh, so yeah, I wasn't playing for a match at that time. Uh, did you won that match? No, unfortunately, no, I did not. So, but I wasn't attributing on that. Okay. Uh, okay. But what I can say is this: uh, after I got that, when I feel something indeed, mm-hmm. I just won't, you know, I just won't disturb it. Yeah. Just like you do, you I do me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Uh, true. But I'm still gonna be faster. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that was Ayman and everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, faster than you, faster than whoever's in the world. Okay, so you guys, if you guys have any questions, have any comments, please, please comment on the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, follow Ayman on Instagram, Ayman Atta. Yes, that's yeah. it. Thank you so much. Yeah. And hopefully we'll see you guys again. Yes, and I see you soon again, Waka. So yeah. Don't forget the first uh, one championship. I'll bring you in. Cool. No problem. Cool. As fast as a ghost, I'll bring you. <laughs> cool. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. I see you. All right. Goodbye. Thanks, Ayman, for coming by. Right. Peace, man. All right. Peace. Thank you, guys. Bye bye. Ciao. Ciao.